So today is Litecoin halving day, right? And for those of you who aren't aware of the concept, it is the day upon which the block rewards for crypto Litecoin miners are halved, cut in half. And as a result, well, there's two things. One, there's this expectation that because conceivably scarcity will occur because less Litecoin will be mined, the price should go up. And I believe as of this morning, it had gone up, but that is somewhat illusory. This halving has been announced some time ago and known, just like the Bitcoin halving that's going to occur next year, right? It's already known. So just like the real markets, right? I say real stock markets and the like, that information should already have been priced into the price of Litecoin. But I had an interesting call today, which prompted me to, to do this video, is uh, from a, crypt, a Litecoin miner. And the question becomes, it's no longer profitable with the reduced block reward for me to continue mining Litecoin, right? Too much energy, too much cost versus the block reward now being half of what it was and the price being as it is, right? Which conceivably at some point, maybe it gets higher and it becomes profitable again. But for purposes of like today, it's not profitable. And is there legal recourse, right? And I've kind of touched upon similar things like with, with respect to forking, right? And this is a lot different. Um, you know, I look at it like this. Is there legal recourse? And, you know, Litecoin, unlike Bitcoin, you know, Litecoin has the Litecoin Foundation. Like there's a sponsor, like in theory, there's somebody to actually litigate against if you were so inclined to do it, which I, and for reasons I'll state here, you know, here, and it doesn't really make a lot of sense. But, you know, no one's induced anybody to mine Litecoin, seemingly, right? You know, you, it's m more or less a voluntary thing. And I view having as more of an inflationary tactic, much like what you see with interest rates with the dollar, right? They go up, they go down, they're set by the Fed, and it's just to manage inflation, right? It's to manage the value of that dollar, what that dollar can purchase effectively. And having has the same impact, has the same concept. But to suggest that I was mining and now it's unprofitable and I can't continue with it, I want to go sue somebody, it doesn't really play out because there's no inducement, right? Now, if you had a scenario where you were mining and Litecoin had specifically induced you on the promise of earning a certain block reward and failed to mention these halving scenarios, that may be one thing, but people who voluntarily mine are mine for profit, right? There's nothing that can really be, be done recourse-wise with respect there too. More of it's coded in, right? So in theory, you knew about it. Now, as far as individuals who are part of mining pools, right, is there something there? It's a little bit different, right? It's a little bit different. It depends what the representations of that mining pool were to you, right? If those, if those mining pools promised you something that was illusory, well, then you can always litigate. You could always litigate. But for the miner itself, who now finds Litecoin to be an unprofit, Litecoin mining to be an unprofitable venture, unfortunately, there's no recourse. And, you know, for what it's worth, I think having does make some sense, right? I, I, I feel for anybody who's mining and now finds it to be unprofitable, right? I would never want to see that for anybody, right? It's just a business like anything else. So you don't want to see anybody's business go south. But, um, you know, mechanically, if we want to take crypto and sort of put it on par with currency, this is the effective way to do it, right? One of the effective ways to do it because it's really not interest rate driven. So unfortunately with having, there is no real legal impact, right? There's no real impact. Check out my video about forking. That may be a different thing, but um, as far as having goes, I think you're dead in the water um, from a legal perspective if uh, it does in fact take your mining operations into the, uh, into the red. So. If you have any questions about it or if you have a scenario where you're part of a mining pool or anything like that,
be sure to uh, reach out to me, AT at Tracy Firm, T-R-A-C-Y Firm.com. Happy to answer any questions that you have, and I'll talk to you later.